Hi guys, it's Carrie from The Art of the Poor. I'm just packing up a um, beginner deluxe paint kit and I thought I would just go over the things that are in the kit for you to see. So as you can see here, first thing in the box, which I'll take out in a second, is all the different colors of paint that you will be getting. They are... Now I'm, I am going to get a shrink wrap holder so they don't leak, but until I get that, right now I just have tape around it. Um, but they should be pretty good for leak proof. So we got, we got, um, so many colors here, 14 colors. I got eight ounces of the black, eight ounces of the white, and then we got 14 of the all different colors, including metallic gold and, and silver. So lots of different colors to choose from and the extra of the black and the white. Which we all end up using more, most of. Okay. Let's see what this. Try not to squish it too much. Okay, and then and then I put in I empty it, and then I put in um, two 16 by 20 canvas, so two of these big size. Um, it, there are puppy pads in this package, and I'm just going to lay them down on the bottom here. I put the canvas, canvas, so so that it's back to back, so that there's no um, no denting. But just in case, I put puppy pads underneath. Next is. Um, two 10 by 20s. So again, I'm going to fold them over so they will be back to back also and go right in here. And I have my pouring medium. Um, this is a premium pouring medium. Um, this is also for sale separately. If you find that you really like this pouring medium and you would like to purchase it, um, it's available on my Etsy site, also on my Shopify site or my Facebook site, whatever. Um, so yeah, so it's a premium. These are both premium um, pouring mediums. This one just doesn't have its label label on it, but they're both premium. They also have a um, more basic uh, pouring medium also available, but for now, right now, I have these in there. And then we have four 10 by 10 canvas boards to practice on. So a lot of people don't use like these canvas boards because they warp. They really do warp. It's terrible for that. So people think their paintings are ruined. So, but I mainly use them just for practice. If I want to see how a color combination goes, or I'm going to try a technique for the first time, and I don't want to use my big board until I can see what it looks like on a small board, you know, that's perfect for that. And if you end up getting a painting that you like on the canvas board, it's okay. Just let it dry and it'll dry warped, that's fine. So then all you're gonna to wanna to do is just spray a little bit of water on the back here, and then put it on a flat surface and put something heavy on it to flatten it out. Let it let it dry there for, you know, 24 hours or so, and then you should be, it should be nice and flat. So that, those are there. And then I got you a lot of different cups. So here is the 32 ounce size. So when I'm doing a dump painting on a 16 by 20 canvas, I usually need at least this amount of paint to cover the surface, if not a little bit more. Um, so those are those. are those, uh, And these are nine ounce. So a nine ounce one, I'm gonna say it wouldn't quite cover a 10 by 20, but almost cover a 10 by 20. Now there's five ounce cups. These are for mixing your paints. So the paints, they come, they're heavy body paints, they're thick. You have to thin them down with the pouring medium. And the instructions are in my little booklet that will come with the kit. Um, and then you need to add the silicone last. You can't put silicone, um, like you can't mix up all these paintings, have them pre-mixed and then um, with the silicone in it. The silicone's always last. So we mix up the colors in these little in these little cups and then layer from the little cups into the big cups, whatever we're doing. I have some two ounce cups, also some one ounce cups um, in the bag over there. Uh, those are for like a flip and drag. So something more, 
more along here or here. Those are flip and drags. This is a flip and drag. That's a flip and drag. This is a swipe technique. So I will be uploading a lot of videos doing all these different techniques um, for you to learn from. Uh, and also there's a lot of videos. Um, pour my heart out. Bring my heart down. She's, she's one that I really like. Okay, so anyway, cups go here. And there's 20 pair of gloves. Quite a bit of star sticks. Now with the star sticks, once they're dirty with the paint, you don't have to throw them out. You just let them dry and you can reuse them a number of times. Um, because once the paint is on it, it stains the wood, uh, it doesn't flake off into the other colors. So it's, it's good that way. Also got thumbtacks. These are for you to put on the bottom of the canvas to keep it up off of the pu puppy pad. So when I'm doing a painting, I take out my, I put a puppy pad down, clean level surface, and I take out my canvas and put four pins in the corner of each each corner and then I then my space is ready to work and that's when you start mixing paint and all that stuff this is silicone and dimethicone I prefer dimethicone a lot of people prefer silicone the little labels would not stay so um, black dot means dimethicone no dot means silicone also in my instruction pad there. Um, so you, you don't need to worry about forgetting it. It's all in the little paper that I am sending. Okay, and then this little torch. You need a torch to pop air bubbles. Um, so yeah, I, I got really nice torches. I really, really like these torches. They have a really good flame. Perfect. I could eat, you could even use these for resin. Um, you can use them in the kitchen for a creme brulee or anything that you want on flambe. And it even says in the instructions that you can use it for welding. It has an excellent flint system here. So yeah, these are these are good quality guys here. So that is for torching out air bubbles and making the cells rise from the silicone. So this is your starter pack. And so, like I said, with little instructions. Um, so, and then there's the YouTube page uh, where this is found, and there will be more videos. So, the art of the poor in, on YouTube, the art of the poor dot at, the, at, at Facebook. Sorry, the art of the poor on Facebook. You can find me or on Instagram, um, and I also have an Etsy shop, the art of the poor. And so where I'm selling this kit and art and other kits. I got resin kits on the go. So yeah, that's your that's your your box, and this one is ready to get shipped out. And if you're interested, just uh, check them out and. I look forward to hearing from you if you have any questions, comments, or uh, any input. Um, I always pr appreciate that. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching my video. Bye.